Hi guys, today's topic are MR16 light bulbs. The traditional way are the halogen bulbs as I have one here, this one is a 20 watt and I used to have in my house the 20 watt and the 35 watts. Now these are very power sucking. We could say they are very thirsty and they use a lot of energy to create the light. Why? Because a lot of the energy which is put in in electricity comes out at heat and not as light. On LEDs it's a bit different. The LEDs put out also a bit of heat but much more light. I wanted to replace the eight bulbs I use of from these ones in my house and I wanted a more cost-effective or we could say efficient light source. So I started to go ahead with LEDs and you can usually get them in this variance. Usually you have them on the S&D based and then you have the, 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 base, the LED chips with the lens on top and then there is the other variant which is a little bit newer now which uses the cob LED or chip on board LED with the bigger reflector which are also quite good now if you compare these lights this Chinese these are cheap Chinese eBay lights if you compare these lights to the halogen they are already a lot more efficient but they are also not reliable. I had some issues with them and they just some, sometimes they blow up after a, time, after a while. And the biggest issue with this or the, the reason for that is because the LEDs are very inefficient and they are just made to be the cheapest as possible and this is just not the quality you want to have in your house. Also in terms of safety we could say. Now, after a while I burned a few of of these ones through and I was getting mad so I tried these ones. Now the issue I see with, with this ones is they also take actually a lot of a lot of um, energy and also create a lot of light this is true but the efficiency of the of the COB LED is not good at all which they use. So I thought well <coughs> why not do a modification and that's when I came across these Cree CXA 1304s which are a new series of Cree branded uh, chip on board LEDs and these usually come in the 3000k and the 4000k and in the 5000k range there are also others but I bought these ones and they are very very efficient LEDs they can depending on the on the there are different series of these but they can get up to 200 lumens a watt which is really amazing um, I really have to say they have worked very well for me and I'm gonna show you why here are three examples of lights with, which I'm using in my house already for like half a year or, or a year since I built them and they've worked very well. In this case, for example, these two are 4000 Ks and this one is a 5000 K, which I particularly like for the kitchen. Now, why did I choose the, the CXA compared, for example, to the Cree XML? Well, in first place, they're much more efficient. They are about the same price or even cheaper and they use or they run on 9 volts so they are very compatible with the drivers from these ones and the other thing is the aesthetics I really find that they look quite good compared if I would use the XML for example they look a bit bad now talked enough about why I use them here I have an example and we're gonna modify this today so I have nothing more to say then let's take it apart and let's modify it.
Now, we just completed the last step, we got it in, we got this closed, the, the LED is in there as you can see, and now let's just check if it is working. Here we go, we, I have my 12 volt supply here and guess what, it is working, very good. Now I just want to compare it with the same thing I did here, this is actually, this is exactly the same, and we have exactly the same result. So here you go, this is the one. And this is the one we built now. Perfect. This is a thumbs up for today. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to do this. As usual, after doing this, it looks like a mess and I can clean up again. But another project finished. But now my house is running fully on LED bulbs and quite a great feeling. So make sure to hit that big like button down there and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.